nerds, welcome to our Play or Pass series. I'm your host, Joe Tweeden. And each week we pull out new titles from the Xbox Game Pass Vault, take them for a spin, and give you our first impressions on said title. And at the end of every video, I leave you with a stamp of Play or Pass. Welcome to Destroy All Humans. It's an open-world action-adventure video game developed by Black Forest Games and published by THQ Nordic. It's the fifth installment in the Destroy All Humans franchise and a remake of the 2005 original game. This remake is the first entry in the franchise since Path of the Fearon. Guys, this came out in 2020, and now it's Hit Game Pass. <laughs> you all know the drill by this point. Let's get... To it! Humans of planet Earth, be advised. While the experience has been upgraded, the content and historical record of the original invasion of Furons remains a near identical clone. The story, words, images contained within may be shocking to the modern human brain. Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait, stop the countdown. Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word, constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him. Crypto-136 to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. <sighs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some cranium. <laughs> 
business. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. All right, looks like we're in the east of the Midwest. Let's see. Back to menu. Start mission. Turnip seed farm collectibles and challenges. New missions. Okay, archives, pox lab. Let's just jump in, guys. I'm very curious because I was super fond of the original. And everything so far has been completely redone graphically. Um, but it is virtually identical to the original so let's see how similar this opening mission is I'll let you know blue moon driving cinema Box to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. No, Cryptosporidium! <laughs> and Crypto! Oh, this looks good. Going to seed. Man. They, yeah, it's the same first level. But they added definitely a crap ton of detail. Reach the cow paddock. Alright. Dude, a lot more detail. Alright, I'm going to have to get through the tutorial on this one, I guess. We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. All right, scanning. Moo. Moo. Scanning. Primitive. Yes, profound. Scan another one. I just did, sir. Again with the moo. I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. They eat with their mouths? Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. 
Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? <laughs> Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. Oh my you goodness. Have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis, creature. Target an object or creature, then lift it into the sky. Oh, that is fun. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground. Oh my goodness. Grab, mark, target, then throw it. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that'll kill him. Um. Oh, that definitely killed that one. Curse these creatures. <laughs> into that cow, and into that cow, and into that cow. Or well, I guess not into any particular cow. Good work, Crypto. <laughs> Jeez. Mm, Martha, you didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute, that ain't steak. That's holy mother, of Martha. Give me the shotgun. Oh no, I don't want to bother some job for the Zapomatic. Humans. Extract and collect the brainstem from what's left of the agricultural engineer. You can consume the brainstem and collect your own DNA. Oh, I love it. I mean, that's a very accurate statement. Ooh. As long as the shields have energy, they protect you from harm. A gauge showing the current charge appears when the shield isn't fully charged. When you get hit or touch water, shield energy depletes. Some impacts deal more damage than others. If not damaged further, the shield slowly recharges. Shield bar turns red when you're out of energy. Hit could be lethal. Ooh, dodge projectiles or retreat from battle. Collecting brain stems reduces the shield recharge delay. The saucer also has a shield. All right. Be merciless. Let none survive. Oh my goodness, I can't. Let me pull his brain out. Oh, right there. <laughs> Oh, brain drain. Human brain kickstart your shield generation. Oh, but didn't get his brain yet. Man, I played the original not too long ago, and I love the... The graphic ability, man. Or the graphic upgrade, man. Ah, uh, it's gorgeous. It was you standing in the four cars, weren't it? Mom, this man's a good one. Pop that head. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Let's pop that head. Oh, my lord. My head's exploding. Good work. It's so graphic. Ugh. Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. 
Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green spaceman! What oh, is that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big arm! Crypto! That uh, human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space time continuum! <laughs> Of Kill police officers. Ooh. Oh, I got a jet. Yeah. Oh, that's so much fun. Love it. Your head. Yerk, under. My radar shows more human approaching. Oh, very well. Annihilate everything in your path. Ooh. Okay, I don't have what I need right now. Let's go to the saucer. Here we go. I love it. I can't wait to see what next gen annihilate everything your path looks like. Get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start shooting. Destroy all buildings. Leave no trace. Bomb those monkeys back to the Stone Age. Yes. It would directly blow me. Ha <laughs> Death ray above. Alright, where to? Where to? Where to? There we are. There's that. Yeah, it's not bad. Industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them now! Open fire! Oh, I'll do just that. Crypto, I hereby give you official permission to destroy all humans. more distance here. Look out! There are more to the north in the bushes. Towards the north Rip in the bushes. Oh, wait, what if I do this? No, that's not it. There he is, little rascal. The humans are making a final push. 
Wipe them out once and for all! Oh, a big push. Here we go. Perfect. Where are they? Yeah, they are. Nicely done. Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and... nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet, letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this video. My hot take on this is it's fun to come back to this uh, particular title. I played the original back when it first came out, and I even played it recently when they brought it back through backwards compatibility. Uh, but to see the classic gameplay brought into like a next-gen light with totally revamped graphics, up the works, it's it still fits the bill of nostalgia. I have had a ton of fun with this so far. I plan on continuing having fun with it. Guys, it's a hilarious comedy struck game. Uh, a sandbox of alien based destruction on <laughs> old school mankind. It's hilarious, it's fun, it's funny. Give it a try. Download it today. It's on Game Pass. I give this a full stamp of play. Guys, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscription button and ring that bell to keep up to date with all our walkthroughs, playthroughs, first looks, and podcasts. And as always, my gaming nerds, I'll see you on the other side.